Upgrade to shore, non-stop protection. Very good evening from Sydney and Kelly Smith has come alongside to enjoy the um, beautiful backdrop here at Sydney Harbour. Kelly, first of all, how are you after last night? England didn't quite put us through it as much as they did against Nigeria. It's a little bit nervy at times, though, wasn't it? Was it? I, I, to be honest, I really thought it was a comfortable performance. I know we went a goal down, but obviously being in the game, what, watching it from the stands, I just felt once, once they scored that goal, England didn't seem nervous. They seemed very controlled in their manner, um, their body language. And I just thought if they, could, if they can get a goal just before half-time, which they did, which is a great time to score, then the game is there for the taking. And even the second half, you know, I, I think it was our best performance of the tournament so far. I don't think we played particularly well um, in the group, group games. But if we win this tournament, no one's going to remember the, the performances and how bang average they were but what I love about this England team is that they're winning and they're playing ugly at times and they're getting those three points and obviously now um, into the semi-finals which yeah. we're all looking forward to. Yeah Serena Beekman made the point again that resilience that grit you can't coach that can you it's an extraordinary bunch of players she's mm. got and they've all had to overcome quite a lot to get to the semi-finals. Yeah they have and you know with Kira Walsh potentially being out of the tournament and then making a comeback playing without her changing formation uh, Lauren James is sending off um, how they dealt with that, that, that resilience that we saw. They, they dug it out and played for penalties, the penalty shootout. Georgia Stanway missing the first penalty. You know, they could have crumbled, but I just saw when they were standing there, arm, arms in, over the shoulders, I just thought they've got something here, something really special and togetherness. And they were celebrating the penalties um, and you could just see the resilience and the the will to win and to, to do this for the country. Yeah, and it was a cracker to win the game wasn't it from Alessia Reese so maybe under a little bit of pressure in terms of England not scoring that much mm. what did you make of that finish and what did you make of her performance because I know that you know she's someone that you've seen for what, the last decades you, you picked her to play for <laughs> England in 2012 yeah, when she was a, still what, seven session. eight years old yeah coaching session for her and her team and uh yeah, no, I could see she was talented back then. That's why I tweeted it. She was very great, good with the ball, very good technically and was quick over small distances, dribbling the ball. And I thought, you know, she's going to be special if she keeps this up. So I'm delighted now that she's back at Arsenal, where I'll be coaching her um, coming the WSL season. But yeah, I thought her performance was very solid. You know, it's great for her confidence that she scored that goal. Um, you know, there's a big, big talk about whether it was Russo or Daly who's mm -hmm. going to get that number nine shirt. She's got it, it seems, with Daly at left back. But yeah, the finish was, was very good, just to put it in the corner there. And um, that will give a massive amounts of confidence for Australia. Yeah, and do you like the way that England have, have set up and that have continued to set up with the sort of three central mm. defenders and the two wing backs? I thought, you know, all three central. I mean, Serena Vink made the point, defend it, whether it's a back three, back four, or back five at times, they were all superb yesterday. Yeah, they were. And I just got to give a shout out to Millie Bright, I think uh, Alex Greenwood um, and Jess Carter yeah. have been absolutely outstanding yeah. this tournament. They've really been warriors back there. And um, obviously, when you get Lucy Bronze and um, Daly going forward, you are going to get exposed down the wings. But they covered so well yesterday against Casida, who's one of the fastest players mm -hmm. in this tournament. And I thought Lucy Bronze was good against her. Um, but the whole team, you know, they dug it out, they ground it out, and that's what they've got to be proud of because it wasn't pretty at times, but they're into the, into the semis and that's what they wanted. Yeah, and what a semi-final. I mean, if the World Cup needed a semi yeah. <laughs> to really, really, you know, send this sort of World Cup into a stratosphere, it's this one, isn't it? England, Australia. Look, Serena Vickman may not know about the rivalry, but um, I, I guess we got a sense of it having grown up with all those Englands against... Australia battles what are you expecting from Australia and that kind of wave of emotion behind the side that we saw with England didn't yeah. we last year at the Euros it yeah. means so much to so many people it does being in playing in your home nation it really gives you that added uh, boost the crowd last night was really immense for Colombia big Colombia following so England have experienced that now so it's going to be even worse um, on Wednesday because the stadium will be packed you probably hardly see an England shirt because I think the tickets have been sold out for the Aussie fans um, but yeah no I expect a very tough game especially in the centre of mid middle of the park with with um, Clooney, yeah. Cross, Clooney Cross, Cross yeah. and, and Gorey, yeah. uh, Kira Walsh and Stanway are going to have their hands full there. But Lucy Bronze and, and Daly getting up the wings, supplying the crosses for Russo. And yeah, it's going to be a real close game, I think. But Where do you Australia, think England might have the edge? 
Um, you're mentality. Three, I'd say mentality. Yeah, you know, yeah. I know that Australia beat us uh, two 0 in, in a friendly coming into this, but it's a, it's a whole different ball game now. And I see both teams very, being very strong mentally. You know, got Sam Kerr that potentially could start the game. Um, she gives her team an extra boost. One of the best strikers in the world. Um, and I think you know Lucy Bronze is going to have a hard time down that. Uh, right-hand side mm -hmm. with Steph Catley and Ford overlapping and Jess Carter coming across. There's some, some ding-dongs, some real battles all across the pitch. <laughs> and they know, a lot of the players know each other so well because there's so many yeah. players in the WSL. Yeah, they there, do. So many of them play, play in our league. So I'm sure they won't be looking at each other or a very friendly pre-game uh, pre um, yeah. and some tears after whoever wins or loses. But you've seen this tournament too, you know, the sportsmanship from, from so many players. It's mm -hmm. devastating when you go out, but just for you to go and pick the goalkeeper up like Chloe Kelly did and Alex Greenwood, um, it, it means a lot. And you can see that this game is growing fast and um, yeah, there's a lot of good, good people that are playing it. Yeah, and just finally, when we had the press day before we came away, we got to speak to all the Lionesses and we gave them some quick fire questions. And uh, we said, you can have one Lioness from history to pack in your bag and take to Australia. <laughs> they nearly all chose you. Oh, that's really nice. Damn, I should have bought my boots. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, say, I could have come do out. Think, do you think come you could still cut it? Super sub, last 10 minutes to win it for them. But no, they don't need me now. They've got some fantastic players. Um, I also, Lauren Hemp, I thought, was outstanding um, up and down that left hand flank. I think she's going to be a key player for us uh, yeah. on Wednesday, you know, getting her on the ball, getting her running at the full back, crosses in. So we've got so many talented yeah. players. It's brilliant. Nice to be an idol, though. Nice to be looked yeah, up to. Yeah, that may give me goosebumps a little oh. bit. It's really nice. Thank you to all the players that thought that. Yeah, well, it was, um, yeah, I mean, they're just talking sense, aren't they? Thank you very <laughs> much for your time. Thank you. Uh, such an exciting few days ahead. It's the kind of semi-final. I think everybody wanted to see. If it's not going to be in the final, then the semi-final will take it. England against Australia here in Sydney on Wednesday evening.